Hello and welcome to the latest virtual card and a cuppa. Um, today is the 15th of March, so this is the second um, event in the month of March. Um, so welcome one and all. Um, this is the kit that went to the in-person event this morning over at Home Grange. Uh, I'm talking to you from the US, so obviously I didn't actually do it, but the lovely Trisha and um, Carol did it on my behalf, um, but I'm heading back to the UK next week. Um, so April's and May's etc. will be um, hosted by me. So um, I know Carol and Trisha have done a great job with this and um, I thank them very much. Um, but anyway, without further ado, I shall go through quickly the kit that um, got taken to Cardinal Cuppa. I'm just quickly trying to make sure that this has and is going out live. She says, oh, I think so. Looks like it. You know what, no matter how, what I do, and I try very, very carefully when I set up this thing, that this is all straight. And I have a little thing that tells me that it's all level, but it still seems to look a bit wonky. So I kind of, oh, never mind. Anyway, I digress. So this is the kit that went this morning to the in-person event. Um, those of those who had pre-ordered all their kits got the um, both kits for for March at the beginning of the month. Anyway, so this is it. So we have an envelope as always. Uh, this one's a basic white. Uh, today we're using a thick basic white um, base card. So this originally was a piece of um, A4, and it's been cut in half so that um, it's. 14.9 by 21 and a half and then it has been scored at 10 and a half and folded in half um, I'm hoping against hope that this thing is not going to break down on me today it is absolutely chucking it down with rain outside um, which may affect the internet um, so I'm just kind of hoping that it's not going to do that but you never know Okay, so there's also a pe another piece of, this time it's just normal basic white. So this originally measured um, 10 centimetres <coughs> by 14.4. And then it was run through the stamping cut and emboss machine using the, oops, I'll take this out here. I know what's gonna happen, it's gonna look all shiny. It may do that. So with the Fern 3D embossing folder, it just looks like this, hopefully. Uh, maybe if I put that behind it, you might be able to see it a bit better. No, probably if I put colour. Let's see what have I got of colour that I can put behind it. Oh, I've got some scrap here. Excuse me for a second. Why is it here? It's everything organised and then we want something else extra. I don't know where it is, but I'm trying to get hold of it and see if that look, makes that look any better. Oh, yes, there you go. So now you can see that's, that's, that's the, the fern embossing folder so that was used on this piece of basic white then we have a piece of um, double-sided paper so this actually comes from the uh, flowers and more host paper which is in the uh, current mini catalog uh, so this is three and a half by 14.4 because it's wanted to sit on here um, some We've got this side, which is like little, little leaves and things, which is crushed curry, and then got some stripes on the other side. And then we have a square of crushed curry and a square of basic white. And that's it, so that's the kit. I'll put all the dimensions up on the, in the description on the video once it gets uploaded to YouTube. So um, you better pick all those up there. And I'm guessing you kind of want to see what cards went to the event this morning so here we go this is the first one uh, so carol and trisha also took with them the nature's prints stamp set a glue on that uh, it's a cling mount so it's red rubber 
So all you need is your acrylic blocks and you're good to go with this. So they took that with them and then I, they took basic uh, memento black, uh, crushed curry ink and also polished pink ink. Polished pink because the paper, the stripy paper is uh, polished pink in it. So as I said, this is the first one, which is very simple. The um, embossed piece of white has been simply glued direct to the card front. The piece of double-sided paper has been glued down the side. Um, it's a, there's a little gap here, probably just about a centimeter. And then the square of basic white has been stamped using crushed curry. And then they've overstamped. So there's a bit of stamping off so some of these will be first impression. This one here, the ginkgo, looks to me like it could be a second impression. And then the sentiment was stamped in the tuxedo um, black. And then inside there's again another little flower ginkgo um, leaves and things. So that was the first one. And I don't know which of these is the second one, but I don't suppose it really matters. I'll go for that one. Hey, again, this is, um, there's a little bit of cutting involved, not a lot. So you've got your fern folder glued directly to your card base, your double-sided paper strip glued in the middle. And then what they did was they cut that piece of basic white, the square, this square, into four smaller squares, which measure, I did actually write this down, uh, three by three centimeters, there we go. And then they stamped images on each, glued these three on, and then that one has, I don't mean, uh, has it got a, it's got some dimensionals on. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be stuck down. I think that it's kind of, at the moment, it just looks like it's, I think it must have got squished in the box when I was bringing it over. And then there's a little rhinestone. Uh, and then again, on the inside, um, just got a stamped image. So that was the second one. Third one, um, decided that they were gonna use the other side of the paper. So that, which is why they introduced a, um, a different color. So this time we've got the, um, embossed piece glued direct to the card front. You've got the reverse side of the paper glued directly down the middle. They then stamped the blotches, for want of a better description, uh, which is this stamp. It's actually slightly larger than this because if you look, I don't know if you can see, it actually says the images are at 90%. Oh dear, I'm having real problems with this. I'm really hoping it's gonna work. Um, I'm just going to carry on. So 90%, so this is slightly larger, so they've stamped that on the white, um, stamping off first, so you get a paler version of the um, polished pink. Sentiment was stamped onto some scrap basic white and then just fussy cut around. And rather than sticking this sentiment directly in the middle of the piece of crushed curry, they um, actually glued it to one corner and then put, put it onto the card front. So those are the three cards. I'm just gonna see if there's any comments because I'm kind of hoping that this is going out okay, but I really don't know. It's very difficult to tell. I'm just gonna keep leave it at that. Um, right anyway so those are the three cards I'll just bring the other two back in again so you can see make sure I leave my pieces behind for the um, kit so we had that first one that was the second one and that was the third one um, photos of these will go up on Facebook um, so don't worry about trying to um, remember so these will all go up um, uh, later today or if not tomorrow morning so those were the three cards and I guess 
I need to get on and do a little bit of stamping and um, create something with the kit. So I'm going to bring back in my... Oh, and I should have said, the Nature's Print stamp set, there's also a set of coordinating dies with this called Natural Prints. Um, so you can buy them individually or you can purchase them as a bundle and save yourself the 10%. And you'll find these in the main catalogue. So let's get this stamp set out and decide which images I want to use. And I think I'm going to, go, going to use the splotch. Splotch, smudge, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Let's put, do that one. Um, sentiment. I think I'm going to keep it fairly small. So I'm going to use the hello there. And let's see, do I want to do some leaves? I might actually just do the flower because it's very sweet. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find suitable blocks for these. Oh, I'll stick it on one of these. So, the, um, this is actually a Stampin' Up block, it was one that come, came in one of the kits. So, just um, so, just so you know, it's slightly different, um, but it is done now. It says something, it says something up, so. Right, okay, so I've chosen my stamps. I've got my piece of basic white. I've got my piece of crushed curry, and I've got my paper. Um, I'm guessing... Mm, now, we could cut this in half, but I'm kind of tempted to, but the problem is because it's been embossed, um, you'll find that it will snag, unless you have a guillotine, in which case you can you can cut through it quite easily. Um, I don't have one here, I just have my normal paper trimmer. Um, so if I was just to use a blade that, that runs up and down, it, it could well snag on the embossed portion pieces so um, I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to glue that on there now the 64 million dollar question is do I want to use actually I think I will I'm going to use the striped paper and I'm just using my thumbnail to flatten those edges down so when you actually cut the paper quite often because the, it's a a really sharp blade it'll just push the paper down so on the reverse side you, you'll find that it's sort of lifted up slightly right, I'm gonna do that and now <clears throat> do I want to use the crushed curry that is the 64 million dollar question could do something different this is the fun part actually playing with um, what you have in the kit so let's see, what's this going to look like if I did it like that? It's a bit different. Not sure I like it, but hey, let's see. Could even go that way. That's not, I'm not really keen on that one, or it could go that way. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, right. I digress. So first of all, I think I'm going to stamp my my sentiment, and I'm going to do that in the tuxedo black. And this is where I also have to hope that I manage to get it level. So let's see now. And I'm going to stamp it at the bottom rather than the top. I want the top for the image. Okay, add a little bit on the edge, but I'll have to see if we can cover that up. Good old rhinestone, I think, if needs be. Now, do I want to put a splodge on there, or am I going to put the splodge on here? Could, of course, just simply. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I 
I've changed my mind. And I'm going to stamp in crushed curry. So I'm going to do some tone on tone stamping. Um, I only want the flower head. Let's see if we can get that to stamp a bit better. Start again. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. Just stamp around that. I don't. I'm not going to worry about the middle because that's going to get hidden. just turn your stamp so that your flower whatever it is that you're using um, just looks slightly different from the one next to it there we go so that's that for the moment now do I want that I turn it over and go completely different. So I think I'm going to so I've got that. So I'm going to I might even not use that splodge. All I am going to use is my simply chamois and clean off that crushed curry. this towards the top I think use the polished pink let's double check that I don't have anything around the edge before I stamp I really don't want to ruin this. I'm just going to line this up with my grid paper. So I've got a point, point on the same line. So at least I know that this is straight. And then I'm going to stamp that. Here. Like so. There we go. So that's going to go on here. Now I could colour that in using some stamping blends um, simply, and it should be okay because the ink is uh, water based whereas the blends are um, alcohol based. So if I just find, I've got some light petal pink and I've got dark petal pink. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to And the nice thing about the blend is the uh, with the alcohol blends is that you don't have to worry too much about um, what well, you don't have to worry at all about the streaks. You just simply just go for it. Um, actually, that one's not a good nib, and that's not a good pen because it seems like it's kind of run out. It's a little bit there. I think I'm going to have to re replace these soon. But I'm waiting for the colour refresh, which is going to happen when the new catalogue comes out. And then um, make sure that I've got all the latest pens and things. I guess I could put that on there. So that's going to go on here. And I 
that I want it. I might end up just doing it like that. Or maybe not even bother with that and just put that on. Quite like that too. I might maybe just trim that. Right, okay, so I've still got to do my sentiment. So I'm still going to use the hello there. And I should just be able to get that in that space. If I can't, then I will stamp it onto some scrap. So let's see how this goes. So again, I'm lining this up. Right, I'm going to check this this time to make sure they've got no bits on the edge. This is probably why I end up having ink all over my fingers because I can tend to use my tips of my fingers to remove it. Q-tips are quite good. Anything like that. there but hey little thumbnail you could use your bone folder of course oh not even use that at all just because it comes in the kit doesn't mean you have to use it. You could just save it for another day. Just so, you know, I'm not... I don't have problems with people doing that. I quite like that, actually. So, let's go for it. So, um, yes, I was talking a minute ago, um, colour refreshes, that's going to be happening in the, uh, when the new catalogue comes out, which will be the beginning of May. Well, I'll know more about it, hopefully, um, in at the end of this month. I'm just lining this card up with my grid paper so that I can attempt to get this sort of, I see, one, two, three, four, five six seven one two three four five six seven kind of central now i know it's not going to fit oops well, actually no it does fit that way well, maybe i should move it down a bit or along a bit because it's cut shorter i know it's not going to reach either side properly if that's a problem for you, then you could banner this so and then have it pushed right up to the top. Personally, I'm okay with it, so I am not going to worry about it. Now this is a what I do I'm gonna worry about those. These bits have stems and those bits don't, so we're gonna have these at the bottom because for me it just kind of will seem a bit silly otherwise. That's gonna go there and that's gonna go there like that right okay um i'm gonna glue this piece like this and again it's up to you whether you try and get it level top and bottom Going to use the grid paper to just try and aim the points at, um, at so that I know that it's it's roughly like straight as a for a diamond, and I'm just going to use some dimensionals which I do have to hand. Makes a change. 
And I'm not going to go mad, I'm just going to use five. So that's going to go on there. Now I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if you try cutting an embossed um, piece. Because I've, I've not used it on my card front, I'm willing to give it a go uh, with my trimmer when it comes. And I might put some inside or my envelope. So let's move those bits out of the way, bring in my trimmer. I only want a little bit for the inside. I only need like one and a half centimetre, something like that. And let's see what happens. Actually, put that one out of the way because I don't need that. That's my... Um, and I don't know whether it's going to be easier to... I'm going to take that to the top as well. So I pull rather than push. And then we're going to see. I oh, see. Now it's proved me wrong. Now, if I was to do that another day, it would not work. It will go all furry and it will pull... Um, so I could have put that there, but no, I'm going to stick it, just stick it on the inside of the card. I can, I know it's not quite the right length, but I'm okay with that. Or I could just stamp, maybe I'll just stick that on the envelope. But anyway, so it didn't do what I expected it to do, but hey. Now I'm going to stamp this again in the flower in polished pink, but I'm not going to colour it. The reason being that because I'm just simply stamping the inside, it's only that one layer. And if I use then the blends, the stamping blends on it, then it's likely that the colour will bleed through. Because that's the one thing about the alcohol markers, is that they will bleed through. Um, so I'm going to leave that card like that. I'm, I'm going to stamp the envelope. She says having put the ink away. Double check it again. Put that in the corner. Like so. Um, do I want to put one on the no, I'm just going to stick it on the front and that's it. Okay, so, uh, what were the other things I need to talk to you about? Um, April kits, so um, obviously this is the mar from the March kits. Um, April, um, ordering for April closes on the 24th. So if you want to order them, you can do so um, using the link that's in the events section of this Facebook of my Facebook page or you can go to oakfieldcrafts.com and at the top you will see um, a um, header that says uh, in person uh, it says classes and events kits so you can go on there and uh, if you go that go there it will then um, it's like a pop down menu and you can then go on to card and a couple of kits and, and order yours for April um, so the first one in April will be the first, uh, sorry, the 5th of April. Um, oh, end of tax year. Oh, yuck. Again, oh, why does that come around every year? It's really bad. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention was I'm introducing a Kit Together class, which is going to be on the second Friday in the evening of every other month. So I'm not doing it every month, it's every other month. Um, and the first one will be on the 14th of April and you, you have two options there. You can purchase a kit either online or ask me to purchase it, for, well, order it for you um, and then you, the evening's free and you just come along we'll sit and chat and, and just craft together or um, you can just turn up on the day. When I say just, you actually do need to book a spot because um, space is limited. Um, so you can just um, book a spot um, turn up on the night and uh, choose uh, to make four cards from the same kit and I'll have some uh, variety of kits that you can choose from uh, I haven't quite put I haven't quite put up the po the um, 
the links yet on the Facebook page, but they are on my blog. So if you do, again, go to oakfieldcrafts.com and then um, hover on the classes, kits and things and click in person um, event and then you'll find the information there. OK, so I think I've just about covered it all. Um, so next week will be um, is a stamping and creating week. I will be live again at 2.30. Um, and then um, I will be in person again on the 5th of April um, back at Home Grange, which is good news. Anyway, so thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment or send me an email. And I promise I do read everything. So um, I will get back to you. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.